English teachers, do you want your students to talk more in English? They have to feel comfortable and confident first. If not, it will be very difficult to encourage them to speak out. The key is to make your classroom atmosphere fun, interesting, and motivating for them. For very young learners under seven years old, you can use songs, chants, and simple games to encourage them to practice speaking. As young learners get older, you may have to help them become more confident to use English in the classroom. Here is a question for you about promoting good oral communication. True or false, teachers should correct students' errors explicitly. For example, a student says, yesterday I goed to the zoo. You correct him by saying, not goed, went. Repeat after me, yesterday I went to the zoo. So, true or false, teachers should correct students' errors explicitly. It's false. It is not good to correct individual young learners explicitly. It can be embarrassing, and it is not effective if you want to promote more speaking in class. Speaking activities should be meaning-focused, and teachers should create a comfortable atmosphere that encourages students to speak out. One useful tip is don't correct students' errors explicitly. Another tip is to promote student use of classroom language. You can teach students useful chunks of language that they can use often in class. For example, I don't understand. Can you repeat that? What page is it? I have a question. I need help, please. What does that mean? How do you say blank in English? In order to encourage students to use more classroom language, you can make posters with expressions you want them to use. Then, when the situation comes up in class, you can point to the poster and show them the phrase. For example, maybe the students asked you to repeat the instructions in your native language. You can say, please ask me in English, then point to the poster. You can say, can you repeat that please? Or maybe a student wants to know how to say a word in English. Maybe they want to know the English word for por favor. Then say, you can ask, how do you say por favor in English? Teaching classroom language will help your students talk more in English. You can make a few posters and put them on your classroom wall. If you don't have your own classroom, you can put them up at the beginning of class and then take them down at the end. These two tips can help you make a comfortable English-speaking environment in your classroom. Don't correct errors explicitly and teach your students to use classroom language. Your young learners will become more confident to speak out. Try it and you'll see.